Hi guys, welcome to the channel. And today I'm out trying our new Rode Wireless Go 2 microphones, wireless microphone setup. And I've connected it to our Insta360 One X2. You can see it just there. You can see the levels there. So I've got it connected to my lapel, but I've also put another one of those in the chin piece of my helmet. So we're going to have a go at doing some wireless vlogging tonight. So I'm not sure whether it'll be a success or not. And the other unknown is whether any of this is going to show in the stitch line. Hard to believe it's going to be hidden, but Insta has sold me that bracket and the bracket is a Ulanzi PT20, sold by Insta for precisely this purpose of mounting the uh, Rode Wireless Go 2 uh, base station. Comes with that special, comes with that special cable there that links it. So hopefully that cable stays out of the uh, the view of the uh, 360 camera. So we're going to test that. What I'm going to do is walk around the bike, and let's see if it appears in the uh, in the picture. Where I'm stood now is basically the edge of the, uh, between the two lenses. So that's probably the area where the camera software struggles most to, to line everything back up. But uh, I'm interested to see how it goes. So what I'm gonna do is switch this microphone off, put my helmet on, it's got the other microphone in, it's got the fluffy bit in the chin piece. So we'll see what sort of quality we get. But the beauty of this, The beauty of this setup means you can go out fairly incognito. No cameras on your helmet, no wires, no microphones to hook up. And you can just see the Rode Wireless Go 2 microphone is just in there. Well guys, I can see the, uh, the levels moving up on the uh, screen on the uh, on the road so I know you're picking up the voice so interesting test shall I keep walking backwards and see see how far it still picks up my voice I don't know what the range is on these it's a weird crop they've got growing here it's got little white flowers on I'm a fair distance away. Can you still hear me? Yay, hope so. See, what I'm considering doing is uh, using both of the uh, microphones on the two bikes. As long as the bikes keep within reasonable range of each other, we should be able to get merged audio just onto one camera so we're not messing around syncing up voice recorders and all sorts of stuff just one camera and everything will be recorded on that camera and of course the beauty of this system doing it like this is when you come to edit your 360 footage the audio track will be on the 360 so if you you are say pointing pointing over that way and over that way, in the far distance, is a stripy new building, the side of the M42. And that is the Jaguar Land Rover assembly building, or part of the Jaguar Land Rover. It's a new, huge building. So that's the beauty. If you're on tour and you say, oh, there's a castle in the distance, 
you can send the camera to look over there which is something you can't normally do if you've recorded your audio on your GoPro on the helmet and uh, you're editing your, your 360 footage and you're not quite sure where you are until you link up the audio track with it so interesting stuff should we give it a go if you're regulars to this channel you of course know that I'm on my MT-10 The thing I've already tried is mounting the, uh, the Insta360 ONE X2 on my helmet and uh, plugging the audio adapter that's on there directly into my uh, microphone that I had in my helmet. So uh, that seemed to work quite well. I use that on the uh, single lens Steadicam mode. Tonight we're in complete 360 so I'll need to set the, uh, the view later when I sit down at my PC. But basically, I can pick any view I like. What I'm really not sure about is how it'll, uh, how the road microphone in my helmet will cope with the wind noise. Obviously, we're doing we're doing 60 miles an hour now. It's a beautiful night. It's been about the hottest day so far this year today 26 27 28 hot especially if you're an outside worker like i am I used this camera on the single lens I was really impressed how stable it was I had a few problems with the uh, the mounting knob coming into view but uh, that's easily fixed by uh, by using some short screws rather than the uh, the GoPro stuff that I was using and if you uh, are interested how it performs in single lens I'll uh, stick a lin link at the top of the screen persuade uh, Carol to get a triumph out tonight. She s said she was quite happy prepping dinner for us tonight and uh, I could go out and have a play on my own. I'm a far more sensible rider when uh, I'm riding with Carol. This bike brings out the worst in me so uh, let's try not to do anything too silly tonight. Here, guys, just beautiful miles and miles of English countryside. Old ancient church on the uh, horizon over there as well. Ooh, this is a good reason not to go too fast around the country lanes, isn't it? Got the size of that. And that, folks, on there is a land drainage machine. And I know that because I used to do that many years ago. What that machine does, it pulls coils of uh, plastic pipe, um, perforated plastic pipe, through the earth at a certain depth. Carol and I have bought this uh, road setup when we uh, do go on tours and we have got some uh, plans to go touring and I know quite a few of you have uh, subscribed to see our tours and it is going to happen we're uh, heading to Wales in a few weeks and uh, we've got Kielder coming up as well and uh, later in the year we've got Northern Spain but will that happen? Anybody got any insight to whether we're going to be able to travel to uh, Spain later in the year? Because I don't know. And that's the trip that got postponed from the previous year. 
It's a mystery to me. So, this will help for on-bike and off-bike stuff. So, uh, you put this uh, camera on a, uh, a big long selfie pole and uh, you put the, uh, put the microphones on and uh, you can do explores, you can do uh, walk-arounds. I enjoyed going around the uh, classic bike shows a few years ago and there's quite a few people join the channel after watching those videos and again I'm hoping to bring more of that with this piece of kit with the microphones which will hopefully bring some better quality. Well, I won't know what quality the footage is like and what quality the audio is like until I get back to the computer, but uh, I hope it works out. And if it does, it's quite a nice solution to go incognito motor vlogging. No cameras, no cables, the battery on the Insta361X lasts for ages compared to the GoPro. The batteries on the uh, road last for ages. And the beauty of it as well, you know, you, you mate can have the other road microphone. And as long as you stay reasonably close together, you should be able to get the dual audio all on with one camera. Anyway, let me know what you think in the comments below. And hopefully I'll see you on the next video. Cheers for now. Thanks a lot and goodbye.